Good day everyone. Here we are on day seven of Christmas vlog and I have this darling little pot. I literally just unwrapped it. I bought it the other day at our local antique shop and I got a, such a wonderful deal on it. It's uh, chipped and it's old and the person who was selling it actually felt sort of bad. They sold it to me for almost nothing but I knew I wanted it for plants so I didn't expect it to be anything that would hold food or anything but actually because it is so old I love the crazing on it and it's a beautiful like aubergine in white so it looks it's a lovely contrast to a typical blue and white willow wear or a green and white transfer wear so I really like it and I might drill holes in the future to use it more as a permanent planter but I'm not sure but I think mainly I just wanted to uh, you know I really love the way the lid looks and I like the shape and so I wanted to do a lovely planter for my amaryllis you can see here next to the blue and white, it looks rather nice. So um, I went into my plant room and I uh, took, I always have succulents sitting around, um, but here is the amaryllis. You can see it's gonna be a beautiful pink when it blooms. So I'm gonna put that in the center or possibly in the back, I haven't decided. And I let this start growing early before it's in soil, just because I like to start my amaryllis that way because they, I can keep turning it so they get nice and straight. But I have these, um, beautiful uh, Kalanchoes. I have a pair of these and uh, again I always have a, I always have different succulents sitting around and I'm always taking cuttings from my other succulents and making more. So I have these little, I think they're Echeverias. They're just a beautiful sort of a pinky red. So I thought it would just be fun this year to do a quick little planter with the succulents of the Echeveria and the Kalanchoe and the one beautiful very tall pillar-like amaryllis so i'm going to go ahead and plant this up and uh, of course these type of plants love and need drainage but this is just going to be i'm almost considering it like a um a flower a floral arrangement it's only going to be in this pot for about two and a half weeks just until at just after christmas so i don't mind having the um, succulents in there because i'll add extra vermiculite to the soil and i'll be really sparse with watering because even the amaryllis will basically grow without much watering. So it's really just going to be an arrangement that happens to be in soil. And I'll keep it in here until just after Christmas. And then I can break everything apart and put it back into other pots in my plant room. And then this beautiful pot can be used for other things, uh, most likely uh, for plants. And it'll look lovely in my little plant room. So um, let's get started. And here we are with the finished product. Of course, I wanted to show you the process of me planting it, but that footage didn't take and the sound was bad. So I think if anything, this taught me that here being day seven of Vlogmas is going to be the last day of my daily vlog for Vlogmas. Uh, sometimes I think it's important to look at uh, things that you've tried a challenge and if it doesn't work out to not see it as a failure but to just see it as um, your attempt to try something and if it doesn't work then it's good to look at the positives in it and to try to readdress and make it better. The positive today is that though the footage didn't work out I'm really quite happy with how lovely and beautiful the planter turned out and I'm glad I can share it with you even if it is in this finished state. Uh, here I'm trying to share it with you outdoors and then um I'm probably going to keep it in, I'm planning on when I put up my uh, silver Christmas tree tomorrow, which I uh, usually decorate with pink ornaments, I'm going to put that in the table in the center of our window in our sitting room. And I just thought that this beautiful purple and white uh, planter with the amaryllis and succulents would look really lovely under that tree. So that is the goal. So here you can see this is the table I'll be setting the tree up. I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. However, though I had hoped to share more daily vlogs with you for Vlogmas, I think I've learned that I'm just not a daily vlogger, at least not in the way I would like to be. So I'm going to call one week of vlogging daily for Christmas a success, and I'm just going to move forward and vlog in the way that I think I would like to. So I hope you do like how the amaryllis turned out in this beautiful um, purple and white uh, transfer wear bowl. And I think it's going to look lovely under the silver tree, which I will share with you. Uh, I'm just not sure when my next vlog will be, but uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, remember, or possibly think about as I have, if there is failures, just look at them as an opportunity to amend what you hope to do, and make it better. And of course, always stay creative. Until my next vlog, thank you so much, and cheers. <music>